How many times in the last week have you, your family, used an Arts Grow book? Chumash, Siddur, Gemara, Machzer, Tanakh, Medrash, Rashi, Ramban, Cookbook, Emuna, Tfila, Children's Books. How many times? And how many hundreds of thousands of times, maybe millions of times, all over the world have people used art scroll books? In two words, in two words, what made it possible? Mayor Zlotowicz. Good evening. In the early 1920s, a young Rav and his wife came to the United States after 12 years of learning in Lomja, Poland. He quickly gained respect as a Talmud Chacham, he was a Moyo Mashkiach, and in 1927, he became the Rav of a shul. Torah education was scarce and Shmir Shabbos was dwindling in the America of the 20s, 30s, 40s. Life was hard for Rabbi Aaron Zlotowitz and Rabbi Sinfruma, but they persevered. Their youngest son was born in 1943. The doctors did not think he would make it. They gave him a very small chance to live. But he fooled them, the way he fooled naysayers all of his life. Mayor Jakob Zlotowitz was a normal kid, went to Yeshiva's RJJ, good head, not an athlete, he was a stutterer, but he had a great sense of humor and he had real good artistic talent. After high school, he went to Masifta to Ferris Yerushalayim and he became enamored with the Godel Hador Reb Moshe Feinstein's Zetzel. He became very, very close to him. And after the Rosh Hashiva's Ptira, he remained very close to the new Rosh Hashiva, Reb Dovid Feinstein Shlita. If you had told anybody in those days that Mayor Zlotowitz would transform the Jewish world, that he would become the Rabbi of Klal Yisrael, they would have said you were crazy. But just as he fooled the doctors, he fooled the pessimists. After he left the yeshiva, he formed Art Scroll Studios. Art Scroll. They made illuminated, decorated, colorful scrolls, brochures, subas. And that was a decent living. And then came 1975. Mary had a very close friend. Mayor Fogel. He was a Yeshiva Rebbe, a great Rebbe. Everybody loved him. And then, without warning, he died in his sleep. Shocking. And Mayor wanted to do something in his memory. He wanted to do something that would be lasting, that was different, that would have an impact. And he came up with this idea of writing a translation and commentary on Megillus Esther and finishing it by the Shleishim, by the end of the Shleishim morning period. <laughs> really an impossible job. When my father started Megillus Esther, I was 10 years old. I remember coming down every morning. He'd be sitting at his desk with piles of svarim, papers, notebooks all over. And when I'd go to sleep, He'd be in the same position. And we were talking about Megillus Esther. We were talking about putting a color jacket on a, on, on a Jewish book. Who ever heard of that before? For 30 days, he could not, didn't eat and could not, didn't sleep. 
He came to me with a finished product, hand-bound, something beautiful. Everyone was so excited. And what's coming out next from Arts Group? When you think about it, especially in the 70s and 80s, it was a massive accomplishment that he made. He had a feel for beauty, and he had a feel also for eternity. And when he combined those two in Art Scroll, a miracle happened. No one could have imagined the influence that it has had. And then we hit a dead end. There are so many things that we wanted to do that we felt that we should do, but couldn't do because the funding was not available. They struggled mightily in the beginning. They would, uh, he would uh, call me on Friday mornings and he says, Judy, I need a few thousand dollars to cover my payroll. Could you lend it to me? I always got it back. Yuntif was always difficult for him. He was always afraid that, he, that there was no income coming in on Yuntif. And he would, and so he needed to borrow money for Yontif. This product, but Derech HaTeva should not have continued. There was no money, they had to borrow money. They had to mortgage their houses. That means mayor, loss and shear. And never did I hear him complain, I think we have to close up. My, my office, that's not gonna work, like I have for many clients, but they're not doing well. No, he had to go on, it was gonna work. And then, and then, HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent someone to the door. It was, looking back, maybe it was Eliel Hanavi. The reason I got in touch with Art Scroll was that I was enormously grateful for Art Scroll for having opened up uh, Hebrew literature, religious literature, uh, to me uh, for the first time in a way that I could understand. I, I wanted to be, do something to thank Art Scroll, and I didn't know whether there was any way to do it, but uh, I decided that I would get in touch with them. And so what I'd said to them was I, I got a better understanding of how money was raised just to finance the enterprise. And I said, you know, that you're not doing this very efficiently. You need a foundation. They said, will you set up the foundation? And I said, sure, I'll be glad to set up the foundation. And now that the Missouri Heritage Foundation was created, it enabled so many of my father's dreams to become a reality. So many of the titles that we use on a daily basis were made possible because of the foundation and available at an affordable cost to all of us. My father understood the responsibility of running the foundation with integrity. Rabbi Zlotowicz uh, insisted all the business functions of the, Her of the Missouri Heritage Foundation be done scrupulously well, ethically, and to the highest standards. And then, we were ready for our most ambitious project. 73 volume elucidation of Talmud Bavli. My father wanted to be involved in a project that unified the Jewish people. Jay's father had the vision and the foresight to involve us and to make the commitment, but it's Jay who fulfilled the commitment and carried it all the way through. And there were some, some difficult times in there where he had to make decisions and go forward. And he stayed true to all that all the time and to finish it the way his father would have wanted it done. And to publish 73 volumes in 15 years, those volumes were impossible. In this office, walk, walking through the night, we could not miss that deadline. He was extremely strict about that. If we were going to miss the deadline, then he would call in more staff, but it was, or hire more staff. It was not an option to be late. Thousands and thousands of people are learning Gemara, even though they may not have had the training when they were young, youngsters, or they didn't take to it. But now, because of the availability of Art Scroll, they were able to get into Gemara and to finish Mesechtas and to be, be kind of shas. The Hatzlocha of Daf Yaimi is because there was Art Scroll. That's clear as day. Without Art Scroll, Daf Yaimi would not have achieved the popularity that it did.